We need to have a conversation about Pascal Siakam. Now, I just took my twist out, so my hair is little, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all over the place. This man, Pascal, I, I, I think he forgot how to play basketball. It's, it's embarrassing. Somebody please get him checked out mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, but not financially. Get into this video and this breakdown of Pascal Siakam. Let I'm gonna let y'all know that I do not hate Pascal Siakam. I actually like him as a player. I like how he got out of the mud. He improved season from season. He went from a player barely making the roster to a player making a hundred plus million dollars in the NBA. This is a great story that he had for him, for Toronto, for Cameroon, you know what I'm saying? For everything. He put a lot of work in and that shouldn't be discredited. But we have to put expectations on people who get paid that much money because I will never see that much money. So if he sees this video, he gonna be straight. His bank account looking good. He is good. Now, Pascal was playing well last season, um, but the bubble kind of messed him up. I don't know if it's the fans, um, but Toronto fans are are very great fans, bro. They can they make the game so much better. You know what I'm saying? For me, and I don't even watch a lot of Toronto Raptor games except this year. Every time I see them, they their fans are always loud inside the stadium, outside the stadium. You got Drake on the sideline. You know what I'm saying? Talking it's to Draymond, to KD. You know what I'm saying? Fans might have affected him, but he did play horrible in the bubble, including the playoffs. Then that kind of transition over to. The regular season that we see today so usually history shows when you get paid the max contract in any sport baseball basketball football soccer i don't know if they got a max contract in soccer the player usually rest or tends to less involved and less motivated to, to win games to play better because they got their money they got that big contract that they wanted to have especially for players who were never expected to get that much money pascal siakma 19 years old never expected he was gonna get 160 million dollar contract in his life so when he got that contract he might have chilled out you know what i'm saying that's just a, a opinion that's just a hypothesis it's not real life you never know you know what i'm saying but i think pascal is a hard enough worker to not let the money get in the way of things because all that can be taken away from you quick like that but pascal siakam's game is not really made for a wing and then we look at pascal as a as a wing like a tatum like an ingram like a luca like a brown like Kawhi, paul george siakam is kind of a four He's kind of a four, but he tries to, I think in the off season, he tries to incorporate wing movements and wing moves into his game. And it's not, it doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Looking at Pascal, Pascal doing a crossover makes my heart ache. You don't do that, bro. You, you look weird. You know what I'm saying? Or looking at him running the pick and roll, ew, disgusting. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. It's disgusting. But when Pascal gets downhill on the fast break or he's on the low block or he has a short, half court to work with, like a four, like Giannis does, I like to see that. I don't like Pascal doing wing moves. It doesn't work out for him. It doesn't work out for the Raptors. He has one move, that spin move he does over and over and over and over again. It kind of works, but it gets very predictable. And in this league, bro, if you're predictable, you're shut off. That's why the best scorers have one, two, three, even four counter moves that they have off their initial primary move, like most offensively skilled wings have. Um, Pascal Siakam in four games is averaging 16 points a game, 39% from the field, 28% from three-point line. That's that's horrible. And if you know, the last time he averaged 16 points a game was his most improved season. But the thing is, he was shooting 55% from the floor, not 39. He's having a bad season. I know it's only six, five games in a season. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not not really thinking he lost it all but i don't think pascal should be your number one but also the number ones that the raptors have aren't really the number ones that you want to have on your team kyle Lowry is a great player van vliet is also a great player but them guys are 6-1 I, I trust Lowry more you know what i'm saying Lowry is a, is a vet he is a champion you really can't slander Lowry no more he led his team to to the promised land but they got rid of serge Ibaka and marcus all guys who shielded the defense because the starting guards are 6-1 Fred Van Vliet, amazing story too. Um, highest paid undrafted player ever. I don't want him as my number two. I don't want Siakam as a number one. He's more of a second, even third guy, as you've seen when he was with Kawhi Leonard. 
he was a second option or maybe even the third option in some points of that playoff run but having him as a number one is bad because to be a number one you have to like i said have counter moves you have to be unpredictable you have to be be able to score in every way pascal is not a good off the dribble three-point shooter he's not in the lane a lot he doesn't have a second move he doesn't do things like that he's great off the ball he's great when the defense is not set fast break he's great when he's getting guarded by the second or third best defender he can't get guarded by some of these wings and still expect the same results it's, it doesn't work like that because pascal to be honest is not like that and it's not like he has a growing pain because he's like 27 28 so this is his prime you know what i'm saying he's not going to get that much better um statistically but you know what i'm saying he get better on the defensive end and you know what i'm saying catch and shoot three opportunities but off the dribble three stop taking them shots that's not your game stop doing that stop but hopefully this video gets a million dislikes and pascal drops 65 tomorrow or next time they play and y'all come back to the video talking about yeah remember you made this video delete that just because i talk about your favorite team your favorite player does not mean i hate them i'm just critiquing bro it's a good part of nba and it's a part you have to be honest with yourself because everybody is human so you have to point out the flaws but i also will point out the positivities of that player if they do what they're supposed to do I don't hate the Raptors. I don't hate Pascal. I don't hate you. I don't hate nobody from Canada. Y'all big country. I don't hate none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it's cold up there. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but it's cold. Um, that'll be all for this video, bro. Make sure you like and subscribe. We on the daily upload grind for 2021. Make sure you give me the 10,000 subscribers. Um, our short term going right now is 3,000, but let me get 10,000 for this year in. And we start new content when I get this PS5, because I'm going to get that move. And... Yeah, man. That'd be all for this video, bro. I'm out. Peace.